A very good morning to you all. You're joining us on ITN English News. I'm Dilani Jratilaka. Let's have a look at the headlines first. The government raises the age limit of graduate job applicants to 45 years. The Prime Minister meets Indian leaders. A decisive working committee meeting of the United National Party will be held today. Thousands stuck on a cruise ship in Hong Kong allowed to disembark. Now for news in detail. The government has raised the age limit of applicants to 45 years under its program to provide employment to unemployed graduates. President's Media Division said accordingly graduates up to the age of 45 can apply for the government's employment program. Previously, the age limit for an applicant was set at 35 years. Afghan Minister of Finance Mohammad Humayun Qayyumi has called on President Gotabe Rajapaksha. President's Media Division said the Finance Minister met with President Rajapaksha at the President's residence yesterday. Minister Kwayumi also serves as a special advisor to the President of Afghanistan, Ashraf Ghani. The visiting minister discussed bilateral relations and regional issues with President Rajapaksha. Afghan Ambassador to Sri Lanka, M. Ashraf Haidari, was also present on this occasion. Prime Minister Mahindra Rajapaksha and the Sri Lankan delegation who are on an official tour of India have met former Indian Prime Minister Manmohan Singh and Rahul Gandhi. It is reported they have held discussions on many important bilateral issues. The Prime Minister and his delegation also visited Kashi Vishwanath's sacred area. A special ceremony had been organized at the Lal Bahadur Shastri International Airport in Uttar Pradesh to welcome the Sri Lankan delegation. A working committee meeting of the United National Party will be held today at its headquarters, Sirikota. Internal party sources say that they are expected to take some decisive decisions about the board alliance for the general election. The working committee is scheduled to meet under the patronage of party leader Ranil Vikramasinghe. Party sources said they are expected to arrive at a decision about the post of general secretary of the alliance led by the UNP. They will also decide on the symbol and the name of the alliance. Although the UNP Working Committee met on the 30th of last month, 20, including opposition leader Sajid Premadasa, were not present. However, MP Ashoka Singh has said there will not be any change in the leadership of the alliance or the post of General Secretary, irrespective of the decisions taken by the Working Committee today. Minister Bandulaganavardhana says the general election will be conducted on the scheduled date. During a function at Mipe Technological College, he said people are keen to establish a strong government. Speaking on the occasion, Minister Bandulaganavardhana said the Agama Mahindra Rajapaksha ground will be made the biggest sports stadium in the country. He said the project to build the stadium with 40,000 seats will be launched next month. Construction of an international level cricket ground at Mipe Technological College were launched under the patronage of Minister Gunavardhana. More on local news, the Presidential Commission to inquire into the Easter Sunday attacks recorded evidence yesterday. Mohammad Razik, Mohammad Taslin, who is a former coordinating secretary of former minister Kabir Hashim, gave evidence before the commission. The witness gave evidence while on a special bed for patients. Mohammad Razik Mohammad Tazlin gave evidence while on a special bed for patients as he has still not recovered from injuries to his head due to a shooting. He told the commission that he was shot in the head for assisting the CID to find information on damaging Buddha statues in Mavanella and some other incidents. The commission asked him who informed first about the damages to the Buddha statues. He said a relative of Kabir Hashim informed him over the telephone about the incident on 27th December 2018. 
2018 at around 5 a.m. He said that person asked to give information to Kabir Hashim by visiting the place. He said that he went to Lakhtawatta area with the CID searching for a person called Mutif and he was found at a coconut plantation. He said there was a building at that place. He said there were several equipment including 99 detonators, tents, a Quran and a digital camera. He said an unidentified person shot him in the head and fled when he was sleeping at home in the night. The witness said his left leg and left arm were paralyzed due to the shooting. That's all we have for you today. Thank you for joining ITN English News. Have a pleasant day. Goodbye.